The integration of DBT and schema therapy really comes into play when trying to change the rigidity that we hold for behavioral responses to a particular emotional experience. As I've mentioned a number of times before, from a DBT perspective, every emotional experience activates a behavioral response that's either an innate primal reaction or a learned behavior that we've picked up along the way. It's usually the case that these automatic behaviors play out at a subconscious level. Most of the time we have little to no awareness for the fact that the behavior is probably tied to some sort of childhood experience that's playing out as a reenactment right now. When we know what dominant schema we hold in our personality, which is something we can learn through mindful awareness and journaling, we can use the skill of planning ahead to build mastery to reduce the emotional impact these childhood stories have on our personality system. Planning ahead to build mastery is a skill that involves paying attention to things that happened in the past, situations or circumstances that activated an overwhelming emotional experience that then triggered an ineffective behavioral response within our personality system. We do this for the specific purpose of learning. When we pay attention to those uncomfortable and difficult feelings, we can then use the information we gather to increase our ability to handle these emotions when they get activated again. Planning ahead to build mastery means figuring out which situations are likely to cause us trouble in the near future and then using the other skills of DBT and schema therapy to identify a pattern in behavior from the past. We're not only planning ahead for how we can cope with expected emotional difficulties, but also visualizing being in the situation and practicing how we will act effectively, staying in line with our true core values and beliefs. The key component of this exercise is to understand that it's not the situation that we're trying to build mastery for, it's the emotional experience. Situations can change, people can do random and unexpected things, so trying to master how to deal with what might happen in the external world is a challenging, if not an impossible thing to do. However, our internal emotional experiences are usually quite consistent, particularly when it comes to difficult and uncomfortable situations. In general, in my experience, our ineffective behavioral responses tend to be driven by some sort of fear, and usually it's a fear of experiencing one of the big four emotions, which include sadness, loneliness, guilt, and shame. DBT teaches us that there's a large amount of research proving that we can learn new skills simply by imagining situations in our mind and rehearsing our behavioral responses over and over again. This creates a new muscle memory that's tied to the emotional experience itself, which is then repeatable in the external world of actuality. This is true for all sorts of skills. For example, in sports like tennis, a player who is trying to plan ahead for an important game in the future can improve their ability to play in high pressure situations by practicing the mental process involved when serving on big important points or simulating their internal self-talk when resting in between games. By rehearsing these situations in their minds over and over again, they increase the probability that they will cope with the actual emotional experience in a successful and effective way. We can also apply this philosophy to practicing interpersonal skills. For example, we can improve our ability to have conversations when making amends with others by rehearsing the way these conversations might go in our minds, effectively teaching our parts how to cope with the different emotional experiences that are possible when actually having the conversation itself. Sometimes it can be helpful to hear this skill presented in a situation that might be relatable to you. So next, I'm gonna tell you a story. This story is a simple, single example of what coping ahead to build mastery might look like that I've taken directly from the DBT skills training manual and adapted it to fit the concepts of schema therapy and the multiplistic personality perspective of doing this type of work. Take some time to listen and see if it gives you some clarity on the ways that you can use this skill to your benefit in your own personal circumstances. So imagine if you can the following story. Joe is getting ready to give a speech in front of a large crowd. He's done this sort of thing before and had a couple of bad experiences where he blanked out in the past. He has the speech already written out to help him with this, but he's beginning to feel a cold coming into his system and he notices that there's a part of him that's afraid that his voice might give out or he might slide into the onset of an uncontrollable coughing fit 
right in the middle of his speech. He recognizes that the dominant emotion he would struggle with in this situation is fear. And he uses the downward arrow exercise to explore this deeper and finds that it's rooted in the fear of the embarrassment or shame he would experience should he not have the skills to cope with this situation if it plays out the way he's kind of projecting it to. Joe recognizes that his usual behavioral response in this situation would be to cancel the whole thing or just not show up on the night and hope that nobody noticed he wasn't there. At the same time, he also recognizes that this is not an effective way of dealing with the situation. So to plan ahead to build mastery, he uses his mindfulness skills to imagine different scenarios. First, he pitches himself giving the speech with absolutely no troubles. He completes his presentation and rehearses what it would be like to stand in front of the crowd as they acknowledge its completion. This is helpful, but he notices that there's still a part of him that's anxious. So next, he practices in his mind his worst case scenario. In this visualization, he's walking out on stage with a glass of water in his hand, bending over and putting it on the floor before he starts. Then he imagines speaking, having his voice go out suddenly and beginning to cough. So he practices pausing to bend over, gathering his wits together, picking up his glass of water and taking a sip, composing himself, and then continuing with his speech when he feels ready to do so. Finally, Joe explores the third scenario, the one in which he's challenged with his voice or a slight tickle in his throat, but he's still able to make it through with just some minor stumbles, but nothing too catastrophic. Joe documents each of these situations in detail and continues to rehearse all three possibilities in his mindfulness practice throughout the build up to the presentation. As a result, his parts have a pretty good idea of what to do in the different situations that are connected to his own emotional experience of fear, shame and embarrassment and his system is well prepared for giving the speech. This is a brief example of how we can use planning ahead to build mastery to develop our ability to cope in different and effective ways. When combining DBT and schema therapy, planning ahead to build mastery is an essential skill for changing the rigidity we have to the behavioral response for the stories that are connected to the dominant schema that's in our system. These are the stories that are directly responsible for activating the different parts of our personality that we're trying to understand and ultimately re-educate. Planning ahead to build mastery gives us the ability to work with these stories, not to remove them completely from our system, as this would be an extremely difficult thing to do. Instead, we use this skill to build mastery for the emotional experience that's triggered by the childhood story so that we can teach the activated parts that this story isn't happening right now, or if it is, how to cope with it in a healthy and effective way. In the PDF at the bottom of the website page connected to this video, there's a worksheet that goes over the way to develop this skill for your own individual needs. Planning ahead to build mastery is not about remembering the past experience. It's about re-experiencing it so we can recreate the emotional response we had at that time. If we don't recreate the emotional response, we won't develop mastery for the emotional experience, which is the whole point of completing this exercise. So pay attention to the use of your senses when completing this activity. If you take a look around my YouTube channel or the pages of my website, you're gonna find a lot more videos and handouts on this and many other skills associated with DBT and schema therapy. If you wanna know more, come join the live online conversations that I facilitate each week on Zoom. I'll leave some links in the description below. As always, if you like the content of this video, please subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, and turn on those notifications for all the latest from me and The Liberation Place. I hope this video gave you some insight for how you can use the skill of planning ahead to build mastery in your own unique way. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Take care, be safe, and be well.